Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we're going to take a look at one way to save yourself from trouble if you've created a node group that can get out of hand too easily. One case in point is this edge lattice node that I've recently created. It creates a three-dimensional grid of points and edges connecting them. However, if you're not careful, the amount of vertices that this can create can skyrocket really quick. Here, I've only got it set to 10 on a side and I'm already at 1,000 vertices. Of course, that's 10 cubed. Or you may have created your own node group where inadvertently you do something like this. And you hope that your autosave happened recently enough that you haven't lost too much work. So my thought was, perhaps I could add in a failsafe to node groups that might generate a lot of geometry or do something really heavy if I mistakenly put in a value that was too high. It's a relatively simple idea, and it goes something like this. I want to change my edge lattice node into a safe edge lattice node. So I'll add in a group input and connect up all of the options from my edge lattice node. From my end panel, I'll get rid of the geometry input. Right now, this node would simply function as a wrapper for the edge lattice node and do nothing special. However, what I want to do is pre-calculate how many vertices the inputs for vertices X, Y, and Z will be created by this edge lattice node. And then if it's too many, I want to prevent that from happening. So first we need to calculate how many this is going to generate. The answer is of course the X times the Y times the Z. So we'll do that math real quick. We'll take the X times the Y and multiply that by the Z. So now this output will generate a number that'll be the same as the vertices that our edge lattice would create. Now we don't want this to go above a certain amount, so I'll add a greater than node. And for the moment, I'll just set this to 25,000. Next, if the product of these three inputs is greater than 25,000, we want to limit what's going through to these. So I'm going to add a switch node and set it to integer. So if the product of all three inputs is greater than 25,000, we just want to return something smaller. Let's say 10 for the Z vertices. If the total product is less than 25,000, we'll just use whatever was put in the Z. I'll do the same for both the X and the Y. Now, of course, I will want to be able to control this limit from the outside of my node, so I'll drag this limit over to my input. And I'll want to be able to control what my failsafe level is, so I'll drag this true value to my input. And then connect that to my other two trues as well. Change this input name to limit, and change this value to failsafe. Now, if I go back to my top level and I start increasing my vertice count, you'll see that my lattice starts getting more and more dense. But as soon as my vertice count goes too high, you'll see that it stops growing and it stopped at 25,000 vertices. If I still think I have enough computing power to handle more than that, of course I could increase my limit. But now, if I mistakenly put in something way higher than my computer can handle, let's say 5,000 cubed, which would be 125 billion points, instead of getting a blender crash, I just get a simple 10 by 10 by 10 version of my edge lattice. Of course, if I wanted to make this more obvious that I'm in my failsafe mode, I could reduce this to something like a failsafe of two. So now as I increase my vertice count, it becomes very obvious that I've gone past that level. The more you play with node groups, the bigger chance you're going to have of creating a node group that can crash Blender, just because of the sheer amount of geometry you can create relatively quickly. So putting a few minutes into adding a failsafe into your node group might save you some heartache later. Anyhow, this was just a passing idea and I thought I'd share it with you. I hope it inspires you to make something safe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.